Hey guys, it's Carlos, and it has come to my attention even yet again that some people really don't understand the box. A good friend of mine um, was saying, man, the box doesn't work. <clears throat> I got a friend that has a fire stick, and he's watching movies I can't watch. And I had to explain to him, like, well, that's not true. All the boxes use a, a, a scraper, a software that scrapes the Internet, all the movie um, sites, all the websites out there, and it looks for that title. So <clears throat> there's nothing that he can get that you can't get because everyone uses scrapers. So it's impossible. And he didn't really get it. So I'm going to show you today basically how I use my box and the best practices for when you're trying to find stuff. So, of course, I like to use salts. I've told people that in the past, you know, simply because I have my TV guide and everything linked to it. <clears throat> but if you're going to find a movie and I'm recording this, so there might be a little lag. If you're going to look for a movie, one thing I like to show people is that the artwork is going to be there. But it doesn't necessarily mean that the movie is there. So like if I go under anticipated movies, it's going to bring up, <clears throat> excuse me, the artwork and titles for a lot of shows justice league which comes out in 2017 guardians of the galaxy thor doctor strange all of these as you can see they're on there it looks like it's there but if i go into doctor strange which i believe doesn't come out to the end of the month or maybe november if i click on doctor strange <coughs> You will see that right now it's scraping under receiving sources. So you'll see all the different sources that it's going to, and it's scraping, and it's scraping, and it's trying to find that title, Doctor Strange. <clears throat> when it's done, it's going to bring back the links. Now, there probably are no links, and any link that shows up, depending on where it's from, I'm going to know if it's an actual source or if it's just a waste of time. So again, it went out there, it scraped everywhere, it came back. So I know Movie Pool, these, <clears throat> they're reliable links, but I know like this Open Load. Open Load, for some reason now, when you click on that, <clears throat> Open Load <clears throat> refers you to a site where they want you to activate your box. So I don't use anything from Open Load. Um, hey DL, I've used that. So let's click on it and see. I know just based on the links that are there that it's not going to be the actual movie. So when I click on it, we're going to see what comes up. And I believe we have the preview. Yep, because it's a minute and 43 seconds. So it's not the actual movie. It's a preview of the movie. And of course you can't see it on your end because the video is not going to show up um, when being played. So I'm going to stop it. <clears throat> but there was no movie there for that. So people that want to try to convince you that, oh, you know, the movie's there, we know it's not. They're anticipated, the information is there, but not the movie itself. Now, in watching <clears throat> certain TV shows and movies, I will show you what I do. So let's say if we're going into trending movies. We want to see what's trending right now. We want to find something. You know, I always like to do a double scrape. That way I know I'm going to get the best links to show things. <clears throat> so we know all of these are out let's go down to this um, let's go to this let's go to this Ghostbusters so we'll go to the Ghostbuster we'll click on it you see all the information is there you see that it's going out scraping you see all the sources fmovies.co screen pirate lost movies you know, it's just like hundreds and hundreds of, of sites that is, is, is it, it's just, I mean, links that it's scraping. <clears throat> and that's what it's doing. The only difference between my box and next box is that we actually update 
our our builds and we update our platform so I'm not using Cody I'm using our own platform but it's built on Cody <clears throat> it just gives us more control as far as optimization for our box so as you see the first scrape went done um, was done and I never ever use the ice film links never I've never had any luck with them <clears throat> but what I'll do I like to scrape it again just to see um, you know what would be the best link so I hit return on my remote and then I press OK again on the film and this way the ones that it scraped and the ones that it kind of um, missed out on it's going to go back and it's going to get everything now on the second scrape so the second scrape to me is very important because if you remember the first one up top there was one 720 by itself on a scrape you may you know bring back you know like three or four more simply because you know it didn't have time to grab everything the first time and on the second one it actually goes out and gets the things that it missed on the first scrape <clears throat> and that's just my preference what I like to do that way I know that I'm actually going to get the best you know the best links when it comes back up now you see now that there's several several um 720 links so because I know X movies I don't want the 1080p though but I do know X movies and I know G video because I know those are good the Torba SE I know that is good then I'm confident that if I click on one of these and I'll click on the um, H, H, um, X movies if I click on one of those I'm confident that that link is going to play and it is playing you can't see it because for some reason we're doing a screen capture it won't show the program itself so I'm going to stop it but that did come up that was the actual link the movie but you see you have to really get familiar with the box you have to understand which links you know work the best which ones don't even when you're up here on the front page the setup page <clears throat> and you're going into a show let's say I'm going into um, a new TV show let me pick a random new TV show I basically seen everything up here um, have not seen that Freak freakish was good my daughter and I watched this so let's go on the freakish for example when I click on that we have it set up to go into Exodus it's one of those um, one of those sources that you really don't have to do that 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 multiple scrape things so I go into the first one detention <clears throat> It's going to scrape and bring back the links what I like about the widget area in our front build is that unlike the other one where I have to basically guess which link is going to be the best the Exodus link is going to bring up all the links and it's just going to basically um, roll through them so if I start at the first one if there's nothing there it's going to automatically move to the second the third <clears throat> you know it it's going to just go down until it finds a link that actually plays so we did that so people would not have to be um, trying to search for you know multiple links like out of these like I don't know one movies I know watch free and video and um, um, VOD locker are good I know the watch free is good prime wire so this is what I meant if I clicked on the first one you're gonna see oh it went number two number three and it looks like number three watch free which is the one I said you know would work um, is basically gonna be the one that's gonna have the video link that's up oh, it went to four now it's on prime wire so maybe that particular watch free link was no good prime wire and vidbull they're well known they're reliable but in knowing this you know you know you're not going to sit there and have to click through all these links and get mad saying that the box doesn't work <clears throat> the box does exactly what it's supposed to do which is find links to the shows and movies that you want to see that's all the hardware is designed to do with the software it's not designed you know like cable where you just sit there and you see it found one it was the, I guess the fourth one fourth prime wire it's playing I'm gonna stop it because you can't see it on the screen for some reason but you know that's that's how, how it works so understand that it's not like cable you're not going to hit the button and it's going to instantly take you to the movie playing because it's scouring the internet it's a computer 
you know, if it was like like the dedicated IPTV servers where the links were there, much like um, if you go over to Phoenix in the left hand menu side, if I go into the left hand menu side, if I go into Phoenix, their movies are stored on their server. If you go into like the new releases and they give you an option of link one or link two. So stuff like that, it will play quickly because that's how it's set up. So if I went into like nine lives, if I click on nine lives, it's going to bring up link one, two, and three. If I press link, let's say link two, being that this is on the server, it's going to, you know, you know, have a direct connection. So it's not surfing and searching for it. It's just trying to open the stream up directly on the server and play. So if I clicked on play, it's going to automatically, you know, since it found the stream opened up, it's going to start playing it. And again, once you understand like those basic things, and I don't think link two was any good. Nope. So let's go to link three. Once you really get an understanding of how to use the box, it becomes a lot easier to navigate. Again, you can't hit the button like right now. If I, you know, hit OK again, it would cancel it and then go back and search again. If I hit OK again, you know, and you have impatient people that just keep hitting the button back to back to back because they want to hurry up and watch the movie. And it basically tricks the computer into repeating the same process over and over again. So, you know, again, it, you know, it does require you to have an understanding of the box. This is not something typical. You see that one started playing and you can't see it on the screen, but I'm going to stop it. So, you know, because people have been conditioned and using cable and getting that instantaneous, I hit the button and it happens. You know, that's what they become used to. It doesn't work that way with the box. The box is on demand. It's it, it's looking for stuff all over the Internet for you. And that's how it brings it up. So, you know, the device itself is great. It's our product. It's fast. It's reliable. This is our build, our media center build. It's, you know, it's not Cody. So we have our own thing. We set it up where it was nice and easy for you to understand. These are your library movies and library TV shows. These two right here. What that means is that's synced to tracks. So these are movies and TV shows that I went to track.tv and I saved so that I would have them stored here. So whenever we update our, our, our build, I wouldn't have to keep marking these down in my favorites or surfing. I mean, I'm sorry, or searching for them. They would be right there. And these are the shows that I like startup Atlanta, the sex factor, which was a reality show based on the X factor shadow hunters, you know, these these are shows and it keeps track of which ones I've seen, which ones I haven't seen, the season episodes, you know, basically everything. Um, think of this as as your black case full of DVDs. This is your library or or that very expensive um, um, rack system you have where you can put 50 DVDs or 50 um, CDs in it. That's what th that is. Latest movies. Same thing. You know, you go to a movie, you click OK, and you have to understand right now it's searching, it's going out, it's finding it. All those names you see, Rainlander, Pub Films, it's going from provider to provider looking for this link. It's not like cable where you hit it and it automatically plays. This is trying to find it for you. You see we're 20 seconds 23 seconds into a 96% search. And when it comes back with the link again, that's just the link where it's at. It still has to find the link in play. So if I'm going down to, oh, let's say this one, it's a, it's a HD link. If I click on it, if the link is there, it's going to play. If not, it's going to go down to the fourth one, then the fifth one. And it's going to keep going until it actually finds one of the streams that play. So you have to really get familiar with how to use the box properly. And once you understand how to use it properly, you'll have a great experience with the box because you're not going to be sitting back trying to guess, you know, which link, which one works, you know, you actually know. 
and I think my recording, my memory is getting kind of full. So that's why it froze here. Let me exit out back to my home page. And, you know, it, it's that simple. It's the same thing with the IPTV. You know, when you click on it, it's going to connect to the IPTV server. From the server, <coughs> it's going to bring up a list of all the channels that are available. And again, some channels are going to be down. Some are going to be up. It's just one of those things. It's IPTV. It's it's what select TV was back in the day in its infancy where there are kind of issues. So with your select TV, you had all kind of issues and things where things, um, you know, would play staticky. They wouldn't play at all. Some things are going to be down. But when they go down, they do come back up. So it's not like you're sitting there and it's not going to ever work again. But it's a $10 a month service. You have to be patient and understand how to use it. If something's down, don't get angry. Give it a minute. We have load balancing servers that just keep transferring, you know, the, the streams. And, you know, they do fill up. A lot of people like to watch, you know, football on Sunday. So things, things you know, slow down some. But in understanding that, you should know that it's a great service. It just takes time for people to understand how to work it. But once you understand how, it can be something that's, you know, that that's really, really, you know, just just a financial benefit for you, saving you a lot of money. So, again, the primary thing to understand is how it works. Once you understand how it works, you know what you can and cannot do. Once you know what you can and cannot do, you know, then you don't have unrealistic expectations. And that's my job as a provider is to, you know, um, manage your expectations. You know, you're going to have some streams that don't work. You're going to have some channels that go down. But considering you're not paying any monthly fees unless you have like like the IPTV service and the IPT, IPTV service is only $10 a month. So for $10 a month, if you're really going to get upset and angry <coughs> because a stream goes down, let's say a HBO stream goes down while you're watching power. Guess what? Go into the media player and go into TV shows and pull up power and just watch power there. You know, the TV, the IPTV was really designed for sports, for the live, live sports cast. So, you know, again, keeping all that in mind to search for movies, you know, just requires you basically that once you hit the link that you have to give it time. Once you find a link you want to play and you've seen how I didn't click on the ice film links because those are the ones that primarily never work. But if I was to start clicking on those, I would be probably 15 links into clicking before I found one that worked. And I would have a bad experience and I would blame the um, hardware and I would blame the software and blame the company and complain that it's a bunch of crap. But when you understand, you don't even go to those. So when you go down to the you know watch series that you know are going to play and click on it, hey, your first or second time you got the stream, you're watching your movie, you're happy. So I want people to be happy. And the only way for them to be happy is to understand that this is a device you're going to have to take. A little bit of time to understand you you know it took time to understand the DVR the VCR you know cable satellite give this the same amount of time understand it's a computer it's going out it's doing what you want it to do but it's it's it, it's doing it at its pace and it's bringing back a lot of information like computers do if you were to Google something you would get back pages and pages of information this is the same thing you're saying, hey, find me Suicide Squad. It's bringing back pages of Suicide Squad. But it's up to you to know how to basically sort through the crap to find what you really want. So the device is wonderful. Our software is impeccable. Everything about this is great. And it really does give you more freedom. It gives you more accessibility. It just gives you a lot of value. Understand 
the hardware, how it works, why it works, what it does, and you'll have a great experience with it. This is Carlos Perez with the Pyro Media Center and the Pyro Media Group with what I hope um, will help you in the future in order to know how to get the best, best results from your box. Thank you.